Oh my God, the crazy diarrhea of the carnivore diet. The poop is crazy. Oh my God, what are you going to do? Uh, hi, Alia here. Okay, so I didn't experience that so much. I've heard other people have experienced it. If you are on the carnivore diet, I am incredibly interested to know if you had crazy diarrhea at the beginning. Please comment below and let me know. Uh, and then other people can see if it's true or if it's not true. But I have heard that people have crazy uh, diarrhea and pooping issues <laughs> uh, on, on the carnivore diet. Um, no, but seriously, I didn't really experience that. I did experience like a change in my bowel movements um, and very little bit of diarrhea and a little bit last week. Um, but overall, uh, not so much. Uh, and when I was starting, I was, I already knew about stomach acid supplements and I've been taking them because I have stomach issues, which is why one of the reasons why I started this way of eating. Uh, so anyways, it wasn't odd for me to, maybe I would take like an extra supplement of hydrochloric acid, a stomach acid supplement. Um, so my point, I want to bring this up because maybe people are interested in doing the carnivore diet, but they're scared of having to confront the, the mega crazy diarrhea that apparently occurs. Um, so at various times, uh, when I was starting out and through my first month or so on the carnivore diet, when I felt like I should take it, I took a, a hydrochloric acid and, um, this might have mitigated, maybe it might've mitigated the situation of the crazy diarrhea. So that is a recommendation I want to make to you. Uh, sure, it's not strictly carnivore and carnivore. You're not necessarily taking a bunch of supplements, but you know there's gradients to things. And if you are, if you have started, if you are eating terribly and you want to change how you're eating, or or a person has been eating a certain way for a very long time, uh, the standard American diet, uh, or maybe a very highly plant based diet, the stomach acid isn't maybe it's not sufficient. So when you use, now you're going to eat a bunch of animal based foods, there's a gradient from like, you can work your way to perfect basically. And if you're going to do something that's going to help you to be able to get to perfect or close to perfect as possible, or the best possible that you can do on that diet, then I'm like all for it. I, uh, let's, let's do it. Let's make the transition for a person from crap food to nutrition as easy as possible. Because in addition to uh, uh, the diarrhea, there could be like withdrawals, which people call the keto flu. Um, I'm going to call it like carb garbage withdrawals and possibly you're going to go through that. So whatever you can do to make your transition the easiest, I'm for it. Highly recommend it. I took a uh, hydrochloric acid and, and in this video, I'm specifically talking about poop. Um, and, and I believe that that helped me. And, um, so I'm recommending it for somebody else who might be interested uh, in eating in this way, but they're scared about the poop. Don't worry about the poop. Like, even if you don't take my advice, but you're starting the carnivore diet, just like, just get through it. Your microbiome apparently is going to change. Uh, I, I'm sure that that's what's happening. Uh, and, and your stomach acid will get better. Your body's got to adjust. If you've been eating crap forever, your body needs time to adjust to get back to being good again. Um, but Thank you for listening to me this long. I super appreciate it. Uh, we are three minutes and 45 seconds in at this moment. Uh, anyways, like, subscribe, comment. I want to hear what you think. What did you do when you started the carnivore diet? How did you get over the shit? How did you get over the shits? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to see how many times I can see poop in one YouTube video. If you are a mom, by the way, you are you have no problem with uh, talking about poop. Uh, anyways, I will talk to you all later. Like, subscribe. Bye.